Hello, the topic is classical mechanics. Well, uh, this topic is pretty much interesting if you are interested towards uh, cosmology and astronomy. Well, uh, what exactly it says is that um, if I have one point here, you can see this point. Now tell me something about this point. Do you have any idea about this point? Uh, which is completely unknown to me, unknown to you or maybe unknown to a third person who is coming. Okay, so uh, there is no possibility that I can I can I can say anything about this point, right? So, uh, so the classical mechanics says that the postulate says that uh, if there is a point, then I cannot I cannot tell anything about this until and unless if I have the second point here, right? Now I can give a name that this point is A and there is a point called as B, and now I can calculate, right? I can calculate anything. I can make a distance that there is a distance between A and B which is 10 meter or anything. I can calculate time variations on A and B. I can calculate distance variation on A, A and B. I can also calculate S. It means speed uh, in between A and B. I can do anything. Now there is, it says that if you are having one point then I cannot say anything but it should be relative or it should be reference to something else. Now the reference point is B. Or maybe for, for the person B, the reference point is e, A. On the basis of A, I can calculate something or I can measure something, right? This is very important. The second most important thing is something called as a rigid body. This point or any point should be placed on a rigid body, which is very, very necessary here. Okay, so this is my rigid body and these, these points should be somewhere here. It is very necessary. Now, if you are talking about rigid body, then it doesn't mean that it should be Earth's surface or anything like that. But it, it should be something called as reference. Okay. It is very necessary to understand. Please don't confuse this rigid body. It means a Earth surface or any other planet surface. It simply means something called as reference. It should be reference to something. Okay. So this is the classical mechanic. It says now the question arises that if I have a star here, if I have a star here or the multiple star, the clusters of star, then how it, it, it is a single star, then how can I relate or may, how can I relate this star? I mean, I can I can talk about, um, I mean, so many things about star without any reference in, and without any, you know, um, without any, uh, I mean, joint star, I mean, the second star. Now, it is because you are referring this star with something called as boundary and this boundary is nothing but universe. Keep that in mind. Whenever you talk about any star or any other celestial body, you are referring you are referring that that celestial body with universe. That's why you are talking about, right? That in a very similar way as I as I told you here, this A identity can be possessed when you are having B point and these point should be on the rigid body. In a very similar way, if you are having one star, then you can talk about this star until and unless you are having something called as universe. I mean this system because you know there is something called as universe you are talking about star if you don't know about universe then you cannot talk about star this is the this is the simple thing I can explain you okay now next thing which classical mechanics says it's a beauty of thing now see if there is a train here oh this drawing is completely devastating but that's okay I have a, I have a train here this is this is my train or oh, I have wheels too okay so this is <laughs> this is this is the train now let me draw, uh, this is a track and there is a person who is sitting or standing across to this train. So this is that person and keep that in mind, this, this train is moving ahead with an acceleration, A equals to F, M or whatever you want to calculate the acceleration. This, this, is, in, this is in the velocity, okay? So it is an acceleration uh, that moves this, this train. This, this train is actually in the velocity or it is moving train. Now uh, there is a person who is sitting inside this train. So there is a person who is sitting inside the train, and there is a person who is uh, standing outside uh, the uh, outside this train, or maybe this is a, this is a platform. Let me draw a rigid rigid surface here. This is the Earth surface. You're getting my point here. This is a moving train. There is a person inside. Uh, there is a person sitting inside this train, and there is a person who is standing outside this train. Okay, and this train is moving. Now, this person is throwing one stone out of this window, okay? So, he is throwing 
a stone outside of this window then from the perception or the viewing perce perception of this this person is going to be something like this so this is that window and the the stone is going in a straight line okay so this is from train from train window okay so the the stone is moving or the stone is going in a straight line from the perception of this person but there is a, there is a change or there is a modification on the perception uh, with the uh, with the reference to this person now he is he is seeing this stone in this way in the, in the other, in, in the in the in the different uh, geometric way so this is a parabola so from the perception of this person the stone is moving in a straight line but from the perception of this person this stone is moving in a parabola now there is a problem there is one entity but there are two different geometrical identity now how can i conclude or how can i make this system or how can how can i reach to the conclusion that which uh, geometrical you know the or you can say which trajectory this stone is you know moving i cannot conclude anything but there is this beauty of this classical mechanics that it says there is something called as body of reference body of reference now with the help of this body of reference you can conclude that it is a, it is a straight line or a parabola now here you see this person is sitting inside a train then this train is a body of reference this train is a body of reference and because of that reason he is seeing a straight line but for this person the, the there is a body of reference is the, this earth surface so this is my body of surface or oh, sorry body of reference and because of that reason he is seeing this parabola so it is a, it is a game of body of references uh, because of this reason they are, they, 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 there is a there is a there is a viewing perception there is a change in the viewing perception for one person it is a straight line and for the other person uh, it is a parabola okay and this thing is completely refer or completely very similar to this um, this a and b point so this person is going to be a and this this train is going to be b so these are the two points and because of this references i have a change in the perception this is a straight line and for this person this is going to be a point and this earth surface is going to be b point so these are the two points and because of this reference or this reference i'm i'm i'm, I'm having a modification on this perception okay so so you can understand this that because of this region this this body of reference because of this body of reference i'm having the two different perception and the same thing you 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 had observed in the black hole as i told you that a person who is near to the black hole and a person who is very far to the uh, uh, for very far from the black hole this is my black hole a person who is very near to the horizon and a person who is very 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 far from the black hole there is a, a perception there is a change of perception in time okay so as i told you in my previous video there is a time dilation for one person it looks like it is moving very fast and the other person it looks like the uh, the time is very slow and from for this person the time is going to be very slow for this person is the time is going to be very fast there is a variation in the time and this thing is because of this reason there is a body of reference there is a change in the body of reference right and that's why this particular thing is happening and this particular thing is happening and this particular thing is happening so you understand the, the, the beauty of classical mechanics this is really very very i mean this is very interesting um i hope you understand it thank you so much uh, for listening to me